Hey Luke here at the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and today I am making this spear. It's gonna be awesome. really excited for this project. This is the first spear project I've ever done and to start I'm going to take this piece of leaf spring steel here and I'm going to cut out the rough profile of both the spearhead and the spearhead tang. Once we get that cut out then we're going to stick it in the forge and we're going to finish up shaping it but uh, I'm going to start with an angle grinder. finished the first spearhead and it's it's beautiful I, I really think this thing is beautiful it's just it's got imperfections and character and hammer marks and it just looks amazing we're gonna set this aside and I'm gonna start working on the second spearhead for the second part of the spearhead I'm going to use this masonry stake it's a 36 inch stake but it's a little bit thicker than I want so what I'm thinking is I'm going to end up drawing it out. Once I've drawn it out and stretched it, it'll be the right length and diameter. is setting, it's getting dark, and it's raining, and my wrist is jelly. So <laughs> I think it's time to call it for a day. We've made some awesome progress. I'll pick this up again real soon. Okay, so what I'm hoping to do is I need to stretch out this material right here, thin it out a little bit, and uh, then clean it up, make it look a little bit nicer.
I trimmed off this and now you got that. Not too bad for right now. Well, it's the end of another wet day of foraging and I'm really pleased with what I have. Um, it's not been easy and I'm just, I'm just thrilled that I actually got this far. All right, I've got the rough metalwork done on this spear. So now I need to get the shaft put together. And I have this piece of African mahogany that I'm gonna use for the shaft. It's a beautiful piece of wood. It's got some great colors, rich colors that are gonna just really pop once I get this polished. But you can see it's quite a thick piece of lumber. So I'm gonna cut a strip that's as wide as this piece of wood is thick. And I'm gonna make it about oh, 36, 40 inches long. Not 100% sure quite yet, but I'm gonna start off with this large, long, rectangular piece. Then I'm gonna to have to turn it into a tapered uh, round shaft by hand. So I don't own table saws and I don't have any power tools that would do this job. So I'm gonna use a, a handsaw. The, the biggest problem with a handsaw isn't the effort, it's the accuracy. It's hard to get a straight line unless you're used to it. And I'm, you know, not that great at it. So we'll see what happens. Now the reason why these spears are short, I'm not making them five, six feet long, is because they're meant to be thrown. And the longer the spear, the more likely you are to bend or break it when it sticks into something. So if you have a 48 inch, you know, 50 inch long spear and you penetrate something with it, it's, it's more likely to bend under its own weight. So shorter is better to a point. So 36 inches is what I'm going to start with. We'll see how that goes. Well, it looks like today is arm day, baby. Oh. Well, this is why I do all these projects in the fall and winter. Whew, it's 40 degrees out and I'm sweating like a pig. <laughs> Imagine doing this in a 90 degree heat. I'd be dying. Oh my. Are you, uh, are you using that piece of rebar on the car? Huh? Okay, Daddy? Nathan, yeah, don't, don't hit the car with, with the metal. It hurts the car, okay? Huh? What do you think? That's going to make a good spear? Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Well, there you go. 36 inches of African mahogany. And it's uh, pretty square. Not too bad. All right, I got these little lines that I drew on the edges to give me a kind of a guide. And I'm going to go and take all these corners off with the angle grinder. All right guys, so not so bad so far. Got a octagon here, and it's already starting to feel round, feel good in the hand. I'm going to uh, hit the eight corners of this octagon with the angle grinder, and then I'm gonna start smoothing it out and getting the whole thing round. Then we gotta start putting the taper in both ends. There you go, not too bad. It's not perfectly round, but uh, feels, feels good in the hand. And uh, once I hand sand this, it'll really look, look pretty round. Plus I'm gonna put a taper into it. So that's okay. It's, uh, it's a work in progress, but really pleased with how it looks so far. All right, so I've got the dowel rounded out, but now I need to taper the ends. As you can see, it fits on not quite right. So once I taper that down, it should work pretty well.
I gotta tell you, I was at work all today just thinking about this project, just itching to get back here and work on this thing, so I'm pretty jazzed. Now, one thing I did notice is that the lens on my GoPro is smoked. Looks like some of the sparks from the angle grinder melted little pock marks all over the lens, so hopefully this uh, video quality isn't too terrible. But today, I am gonna get this thing mounted. Now, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a couple holes and put pins in this to try to keep it together. So we'll see if that works. All right, I got my Cheapo Harbor Freight drill press here and uh, gonna put a hole with a quarter inch drill bit right there through the middle. Then I'm gonna try to punch one here and one there as well. Alright, so now I'm going to put in a little dowel and cut it off right about there. That'll be our first pin. Look at that. This is so rough looking. I mean, nobody on earth would think that this was manufactured in a, in a factory. But I love it this way. I this, oh, it just looks so cool. Now, a lot of you guys may be at home going, oh, you didn't heat treat it, you didn't heat treat it. Yeah, that's absolutely right. I did not heat treat this. Um, heat treating is to make something harder okay but it also makes it more brittle and this is a javelin okay it's not a razor it's a javelin and when this thing sticks into something it puts a lot of force on this especially right here at the neck and I don't want it snapping I mean this is this is like a pry bar that you throw at somebody um, so I don't want it to be super duper hard I want it to to bend a little bit and so softer more bendable metal is ideal with this but the other end of the javelin this part of the spear this part is for cutting it's like a sword okay and so I am going to heat treat this and treat it like a knife alright so now I'm going to sand the shaft I'm going to start with 80 grit then work my uh, way up to 120, 220, 400, 800, 1000, 1500, 2000 and then like 6000 grit and so I'm going to polish this with sandpaper. Look at that. That's just from sanding the wood. Feels and, and looks like it's been lacquered, but no, it's just been polished. Polished with sandpaper. I'm just going to take a, a wet towel with some water on it and uh, just get all the sawdust off it. And take what little linseed oil I have left. Ooh. All right, that's just wiping it down with some linseed oil. You get a beautiful wood, well sanded, and it looks gorgeous. Well, I am really happy with the progress I made today. This looks awesome. But uh, it's late, I got work tomorrow, so pick this up tomorrow. Can we play baseball with Dad? Is it sharp enough, Daddy? Oh yeah. Got a nice point on the javelin there. Do you feel in charge? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have got to put an edge on this, I've got to heat treat it, and I've got to sharpen it, and then I've got to mount it. 
All right, now I've got a ground edge on this. I'm gonna heat up the forge. I'm gonna heat this piece of metal up to about uh, cherry red, kind of straw yellow. And then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna dunk it in this PVC pipe full of motor oil. I'm gonna quench it in the motor oil and that will harden it up and put a nice edge on it. Let's get this thing heated up. There you go, there's the, the blade after the oil quench. Looks pretty darn good. It doesn't look like I melted any part of it, which is a real danger in these coal fires that you accidentally melt the edges or melt the tip while you're waiting for the center to heat up. Well, I've got an edge on it, but it's not that sharp. I've got this about as sharp as a hatchet, not as sharp as a knife. I, I'm gonna be attaching this to a spear and throwing it around, so a little bit of a safety issue there. I can always turn around and sharpen it more later, but for right now, I think this is good enough. Okay, this is the part I am most nervous about. I have got to drill a hole, a perfectly straight hole, to mount that other spearhead. The best I can do is use the bubble on the end of my drill and kind of freehand it a little bit. First I'm going to check uh, this to make sure it's level and if this is level and then this is level and then I eyeball it hopefully I'll get a straight hole. Okay. Well the hole isn't quite right so I'm going to go and just knock some of the corners off this tang here, I want it to slide in pretty decent before it starts to really get pressure. I could hammer it in, but then I, I'm worried about splitting the wood. You know, I don't, I really don't want to weaken the wood at all. This thing is just awesome. I mean, it is rock solid on both ends and you've got a very well balanced javelin on one side and then you've got this blade for slashing and stabbing on this end that also acts like fletching on an arrow so when you throw it this helps keep it straight this thing is awesome okay it's the middle of the night it's pitch black i gotta go throw this thing at least once Oh, this is so cool. Uh, oh, gee. Oh. <laughs> All right, you can't do a video about making an African hunting spear without throwing it at something. So we have Bucky the deer here, and he's going to help us demo this spear. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna see how hard I can throw this thing. Watch out, boy. Okay, jacket's coming off. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. All right, so uh, there we go. Yeah. Woo! That uh, went about that deep, right in the vitals. Oh, you broke my spear! Oh. You broke my spear! Oh. oh my gosh. Oh, look at this, it broke off. So what happened with this is this, this part of the spear is not meant for throwing, it's for slashing and stabbing. And that force of hitting it sideways was too much and just broke off, broke off the wood. Now, 
a couple things that I could have done different. If I had have made a cup mount instead of a tang, it probably wouldn't have broken off. Um, but I didn't, okay? Another thing I could have done is reinforced this with, with some uh, sinew or some steel wire or something like that, and that would have reinforced it as well. So, that's how the cookie crumbles, but there you go. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys had as much fun watching this video as we did making it. And if you want to see more great videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to... Click subscribe! Nailed it! Yeah!